So, uh, just a brief um, thing, and you know, this is my Wimhurst machine that I got, and so um, and when I crank this thing up, we get the usual sparks and you know all that uh, all that kind of stuff. Oh, that comes a across Skype great. It, it really hits the mic hard. Okay, good. And you got that from sign sciencetech.com. Yeah, the science supply I think is uh, what it is dot com, and I'm very satisfied with uh, with this unit. Well, one of the things I wanted to show is how much RF this thing is putting out. So, you know, Jerry used to go around and listen to AM radios in order to find out what kind of noises circuits make of various kinds. So here we go. We get the uh, the usual little AM radio. So I'm going to turn this thing on and try to get it to some place that's not too noisy. And then I'm going to hold this up to the microphone and just barely turn this machine, and you can start to see what's going on with um, the, the amount of RF that it puts out. So I'm going to turn this up. Really have to be careful until got it. In this last word. Okay, so hold There it is. So just barely tiny, just barely. And you can hear all this crackling. Part of that is because of the fact that it's producing all kinds of RF and electrostatic discharge all in these various areas. And I can kind of probe around on that by just um, bringing a probe anywhere near any of this area. I don't, keep, don't know if, if, if that's coming uh, over very well on the scope. But I can look at various places. And even if I put this thing on a 50 volt per division um, scale, I'm going to get big spikes <laughs> anywhere in the vicinity. Yeah, we can see those. Or coming anywhere near. So you can get positive on one side, negative on the other. You can trace what's happening. Now, what I wanted to show, but I wasn't able to do it because of camera and et cetera. Wait a minute. I don't trust this thing. Okay. <laughs> By the way, I can put a really whomping charge on this now, <laughs> thanks to this thing. Um, and we can do another, in fact, a, a real quick little, little experiment is to go ahead and wire up to my capacitor that I built. And if I do this, and if I start turning on this thing, what will happen is that that thing will suck right down onto the, the plate because of the electro force. And it will turn into a little um, electrostatic speaker. And I can feel how hard this is to pick up if I charge it up. And it will start clicking. I don't know if I'll be able to get the microphone in there for that or not. I usually have to do, move the ground pin to the other side. Careful. Yeah, this is kind of dangerous because now what's going to happen is that, in fact, it just, it just went through my ear. <laughs> <laughs> is, I don't know if I'll be able to crank this because what happens is if you set it up this way, if you set it up this way, if you ground one side, it means that the whole, the whole bulk of the apparatus is going to assume a voltage halfway to the um, to this high voltage end of the thing instead of being grounded which is what happens if you ground the ground strap but it puts out way more kick this way <laughs> yeah it sure does <laughs> and then that thing is stuck on there I could you know I could definitely feel that all right enough of, enough of all this stuff uh, at some point, like, I hope to be able to explain exactly where the charge goes. And oh, to finish off what I was saying before, what I really wanted to show is that you wait till the middle of the night, and you sit for a half an hour to, so that your eyes will adapt in a dark room, and then you can see all the corona discharge is coming off of all the pieces, and it's just like this blue kind of of um, uh, streamers of particles going um, to different parts of the of the thing and it's um, it's really beautiful and in that you'll see that parts of it will be lit up tight blue and then they'll just stop and then this part in here will be all dark because it's building up to a high voltage and then it turns blue again and then more stuff is shooting off to another thing so anyway that's what I wanted to share today
Um, uh, it's a fun toy. You can you can hack it. You can do all kinds of things. I'm having fun. <laughs> Thanks for taking some high voltage shocks for us, Ken. <laughs> that was awesome. And yeah, you know, oh, I'll show you one last thing on the shock side of the thing. <laughs> ah, yeah, one last thing. One last thing. If you put your hand right over the output of the thing. And you crank it, nothing happens. You're going to feel anything. Everything is perfectly fine. But if you, if you allow your hand to move slightly away from it, then you, you've got it. It, it starts slamming you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome, Ken. Thank you. Bye. 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 Great.